What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Emilio Vlogs. What's up, y'all? What's poppin'? Good morning. How y'all doing? It's the top of the morning for me. I'm gonna be on my way to the town business. Uh, if y'all don't know what that means, that's uh, in the Bay Area. It's Oakland, California. Um, I got a special, 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 special speech to do out there. But I ain't gonna tell y'all where. I ain't gonna spill the beans yet. Yeah. Uh, really hella nervous. You know what I'm saying? Hella nervous. But uh, excited though. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like uh, I see it. Somebody from the hood like me getting educated on something like that is like a hundred. What's up, guys? Welcome back to E Vlogs. I'm just playing y'all, but man, I'm telling y'all, man, right now we about to go get some breakfast real quick, because you know we hungry. Lil D, what we having to eat? I hop. I hop. I want something quick, like, we ain't got time for I hop. I think we need something like McDonald's drive No, 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 no. That's terrible, huh? Yes. What should we get? Uh, that's peach, man. All right, I'm just gonna crack the beans, man. F it. Samuel Merritt University, man, in the town, man. I'm about to go talk to the students about this healthcare. Okay, about the experience I went through in the hospital to them. All right. So, yeah. And I feel like that's that's dope. You know what I'm saying? I'm hella happy. I'm hella nervous. It's a 48 minute speech. Basically like a story though. You know, it's gonna be like a story. I'm 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 gonna be telling them, you know, how that how when I was feeling comfortable, uncomfortable, how I made the team. How can I say? Teamwork makes a dream work worth the nurses and doctors and patients. Bam! Cut that off. Very much believes in, in what we're doing all here, and again, really excited to have her here. And she has with her a co presenter, Edgar Ramirez, and he's going to tell um, all of you a lot about his experience in the healthcare system. And so I'm going to leave it to them because they say that's. So please welcome Angela and Edgar. Depending on how much time we have, um, he's going to be elucidating each of these ways that words promote healing in the course of our presentation. So without further ado, we can get started. And Edgar, if you'd like to begin with the topic of how words and communication style have helped you feel both uncomfortable and comfortable. All right, I'm a little nervous, you guys, to start, but you know, I'm gonna get it done. Well, uncomfortable. I had felt uncomfortable when the doctor was telling me that I had cancer, and she kept telling me that I had cancer, and um, I started talking to a lot of doctors and a lot of nurses around, and they were just telling me, kept telling me that I had cancer. I knew I didn't have cancer, and um, it made me feel uncomfortable because. After my bone marrow aspiration, where they checked what I really had, was uh, I had aplastic anemia. Um, that was a serious blood disorder also, similar like cancer, and um, it, she seemed kind of upset when she told me I didn't have cancer. Um, you know, kind of like a, oh, you don't have cancer? And I told, I had told her, I, I told you I don't got cancer, I told you. <laughs> and she kind of got mad, you know, kind of like, oh, but it's still serious what you got. So I knew I had some serious also. But um, that's what really made me feel uncomfortable at, at the point, you know, because um, I didn't know nothing about this, you know, so um, that's what made me feel uncomfortable. And, um, you know, um, and then uh, comfortable, is uh, when uh, I first got into a, a hospital bed. It was a waiting process at first. And um, I was talking to the nurse. And she was very cool with me. She was talkative with me. And I told her what I have. I told her, what is a name? And she said, don't worry about it. Like, we had kind of like a heart to heart. She told me, don't worry about it. She said, I see a lot of kids, young kids right now, going through this right now. And they get out of here fine. 
And that's when I kind of felt comfortable. And then...